Antonovich to MC this uh, this event. I've been a friend and supporter of Michael Antonovich's. Well, since my father, Ronald Reagan, worked with him rebuilding the Olive View Medical Center back there in 1980. That is where my grandmother, Mel Reagan, used to go every Sunday. After my sister Maureen and I would go to church with her, she would drop us back off with my father, and then she would go out to Olive View Hospital to visit the TB ward all the way back in the 1950s. And of course, we, we now have the Mel Reagan Humanitarian Award we've named after her, and every year we give it to someone in the community that best exemplifies what she was able to do. Last year we were able to give it to Muhammad Ali, this year we were able to give it to Tommy Lasorda. So it's something we've been involved with for a long time. Of course, Michael has been a great supporter of this for many, many, many years. You know, in the time that I've really known Michael, I've grown to admire and respect his service, his dedication, his strong moral values, and his insistence that the people really do come first. 90% of what I make, on that 10 cents, I have to pay your mother, I have to pay for you and your sister Maureen, my new wife Nancy, and our daughter Patty. With 10 cents, I also have to take care of the ranch and the foreman, the cows and the horses. And so I found myself, by the time we got to the ranch that day, actually asking him if I could give him back half my allowance. <laughs> How long have you known uh, Supervisor Antonovich, Your Honor? I, I remember visiting him in uh, Sacramento when he was an assemblyman, so uh -huh. that had to be in the 70s. I became a municipal judge in 72 from Ronald Reagan, uh -huh. and then he elevated me a year later. At 38, I was as young as to the Superior Court. Oh, yeah. So I know Mike from those days and ever since. Uh-huh, and, uh, and what's the scorecard? From your point of view, as a, as a, as a what should I say, as a referee? If, if ten is supposed to be great, he's about 110. <laughs> <laughs> he's done a great job at everything he ever attempted to do. Uh -huh. The uh, county is so well served by him. Uh huh. And uh, maybe uh, this term is be his eighth, I think. That's right. Is he good for a ninth? He's good for 22. I don't know. <laughs> As long as he wants to run, as long as the law allows it. <laughs> right. He seems in good shape, and I think his wife and two children have really, uh, what should I say, molded him into a first-class person. I went to the wedding. I've seen the family grow, and uh, I, I go to all of his parties, and he's, uh, just, he's just a great friend. Uh-huh. Well, thank you very much, Your Honor. You're very welcome. It has been brought to my attention that during regular business hours, a considerable amount of swearing of one kind or another goes on in this chamber. <laughs> <laughs> to counteract the negative effects of such activity, we are now going to try to clear the atmosphere with a little prayer. This may take a while, but be patient. Remember, old English teachers never die, they just parse away. <laughs> <laughs> so let us remember that whether called upon or not, God is here. We are in his presence, and let us pray. Reflect on our history as Americans and on considered candidates for sainthood. But they were men of intelligence, vision, and possessors of an old-fashioned understanding of the concept of honor. They knew that in legislating for a new nation, their human law must be derived from and be in accord with divine law.
during such times as I hold the office of Supervisor, 5th District. Of Supervisor, 5th District. Of the County of Los Angeles. Of the County of Los Angeles. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. The Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of California. The Constitution of the State of California. And that I take this obligation freely. Or that I take this obligation freely. <laughs> without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental uh, purpose of evasion or mental <laughs> and that I will faithfully, and that I will faithfully <coughs> discharge the duties, discharge the duties upon which I am about to enter, upon which I am about to enter. Congratulations. <laughs>